Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, in the last episode, we took the bus and we removed all the windows. I also removed the walls where the car hauler bed is going to be. Uh, in this episode, we're going to work on raising the roof. I decided to go 20 inches just because I want to err on the side of higher rather than being too low. And it makes it an even 12 feet tall. So stay tuned and please enjoy. All right, we made it. Got it in here, we got it pretty much somewhat level, and uh, we're going to start by capping off this side right here. here with the grinder. I'm going to clean this out as much as possible. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to scrape some of the junk out of this channel here and then we're going to fit up a piece and figure out how we're going to attach it. You know we're obviously going to weld it but you know once it comes over here there's nothing really there other than uh, just flimsy sheet metal so uh, well, I guess right behind that there is a rail there so yeah, we need to look at that and see where the solid places are that we can weld to. So we'll probably have to punch some holes in it to give to put some uh, like rosette welds, spot welds on there. And there's like nothing here basically on this part. But we can attach it here. But we'll figure it out. We'll get it in there good for sure. There's definitely places to places to weld it. But we gotta get this all cleaned up and, and prepped first. here it is now it's just kind of um, squared off here because when you get down to the frame it actually comes up to this point right here so when I go in and make the dovetail which is a slanted section here uh, I'm probably gonna end up cutting off this excess bit because the bumper is gonna go away and we're gonna build it off of the frame and whatnot so that's why that's just kind of unfinished like that the rest of this is all stitch welded in and I threw some black paint on it. So yeah, it came out pretty clean, I'd say. And then uh, our wall will be built off of here. I gotta take this piece off here. You can see over there, just a nice clean lip there that we can build off of. This side's completely done and painted. And now we gotta do the same over here. So I still have some work to do, but we still have some sun, so we're going to get this sucker knocked out as long as nothing weird happens. Alright, well I'm out of paint, so this is done. Got to go get some more paint later, but it's got a coat on it, at least to keep it from rusting overnight, hopefully. All right, that's it for today. Tomorrow we are gonna come out here and take everything else off. We gotta take off to get ready for our cut. All right, here's where we are. 
we got all this off and I decided the best thing to do is gonna be to come in here well not in this side but on the outside and we're gonna grind down each and every one of these rivets some of them are screws holding it on like in the corners there's a bunch of screws here and then it's just rivets all the way across same over here a couple screws rivets and then that way and then we can just basically I think we can just cut through probably right here peel the roof back basically you know take all those rivets out there that's what holds the skin down you can see the corners there and all the rivets across there so I'm gonna have to take the windshield wipers off because those poke through and I'll probably have to pull the motors out for a minute and just slide them through take the arms off and all that uh, take the mirrors off because you can see that's holding that skin down there so you can see where the roof skin is so basically I'm gonna just peel all that up and then uh, we'll have to make a cut somewhere in there and then when we roof the raise the roof up it should take the whole thing with it and uh, then we can just fill in underneath it and we can use the rivet holes and uh, the original rivet holes and put the new roof there and spot weld it along like put a backer behind it and same with once we get all those rivet holes out we can overlap a piece of metal pinch it put a backer behind it and spot weld it all those holes all the way across and seam seal it so let's take a look in here again so we'll have to disconnect this maybe here or here maybe we'll just cut it right here and then when the roof comes up we can put a piece in here that extends there same with there and then same on here this roof should peel back from here we'll cut right across here and we'll extend that piece when it goes up and then same over here we'll have to obviously extend this piece and I'm not really sure about this. this is a complicated joint right here so this might be a little bit difficult yeah so that's the, that's the only complicated part the rest of this is just gonna be a bunch of work so I'm gonna get to it it's just gonna be a bunch of more with a with the grinder and and a little bit of disassembly but we'll get it done for sure all right so we're making some decent progress here uh, so you can see I got this one cut through here so that's basically the roof is gonna this piece is gonna stay here and the roof's gonna come up and then over here I haven't cut it yet but all I need to do is cut across here through this cross member up to this line where I cut up this cross member here and same thing this piece will stay here uh, this piece and the rest of the roof will go up all of this across the front all of the rivets are out it's all peeled away and the glue you know it's actually all glued uh, to there and then riveted uh, here actually this one is completely cut through and same with this one right here this one's completely cut through but I gotta do the same on the other side and then up here all we have to do actually is just cut right here and right here and then that will separate it so we've already got cut here here so all we need to do is cut here here and here that'll cut, separate the front and then obviously we got to cut each one of these cross members that we have left and then the other big cut is across here and I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm just going to well I'm going to take these off and then we're going to cut along this line basically where this cross member is it's going to follow just cut straight across the whole thing and then we'll patch in something once we get the roof raised one of the reasons I'm stopping there is because we need to think about bracing this thing because we're getting to the point where uh, we're going to be cutting away everything and this roof's just going to be dangling there so we need to keep the roof from going side to side so i got some ideas i think i'm going to put some two by fours like on this end one here screw them through this guy so use these holes that we already have screw the two by four through there um, probably to this point and then it'll end up getting cut here probably and then that way if we do that on both sides well see there's a problem there there's nothing to attach to over here but we can come up to this one and you can use this one but that's kind of sketchy we need to do something here to keep it from going side to side so we might or i might just put a two by four here anyways and try to i don't know 
that's what I'm trying to figure out right now is how to keep this thing from tipping over and doing weird stuff when we go to lift it. So that's what I'm figuring out. But so far, yeah, it's getting pretty close. So stay tuned. We're going to be lifting this roof pretty soon. some more to help support this but this might be it I don't know uh, I gotta do the same on the other side but this is pretty much my plan so far I'd like to get something towards the back to keep that from going side to side and also to keep the roof from going front to back too we need something there so we'll figure something out good afternoon everybody we are back at the bus it's another day we're just trucking away there's so much to do like uh, right now I'm taking these columns that I got for the back here. These are going to be the corners. And then, and I'm just cleaning them up super rusty. So I want to get those cleaned off before I get them in. So there's the other one. Yesterday I got them cut to length so that when the roof is in place with the height it's supposed to be, we'll just be able to slip those in. And then, oh these, yeah. So I've been deconstructing the walls and these are my patch pieces, the 20 inch pieces that are going to fit uh, in between where the, where the windows are. And then, Here's the paneling off the side, and here's those weird support ribs that are on the sides of them. And then this is basically, I gotta still gotta take these three off up here. And then that one's completely done back there. You can see that one's all stripped down, that's what you're left with. That's the inside uh, piece that butts up against the floor. So yeah, here's my pile of stuff and uh, my windows over there, but yeah, it's coming along. My buddy Kenny's on his way down and we are going to lift this roof up today. I've got uh, the majority of everything cut, uh, everything except for one, two, three, four, five, six posts there and only actually three posts on the other side. Once those are cut, the roof will be 100% free. But I'm gonna wait until they get here, until my buddy gets here, and uh, then we'll see, you know, what the best method of doing this is. I don't want to cut it completely free yet. So stay tuned. We should be lifting this roof real soon. We're getting close. We got uh, just a handful of beams left to cut, and then we're gonna be jacking this thing up. 20 inches. It is working. Working. Oh. Oh, your pipes, we're losing stuff. All right, let's get situated. Okay. Because this is happening now. This is happening. Yeah. <laughs> Things are happening. Here, here. Tripod. Tripod, there it is. I mean, it's still attached at the front. And it's got all these straps. I, I can't see it really going totally <laughs> south. All right. No. All right, let's do we it. We might have to start kicking these straps down. That's what I'm thinking. They might be... But I think they are doing their job. Yeah, I think I tightened this one up too much. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Let's go up. We got like a couple inches already. Yeah. Depending on where you're standing. And look how far that is apart already. Oh, yeah. It's going. Cool.
it's full. Your pole. That way, is that going to be a permanent picture? <laughs> Thank you, Kenny, for the help. That is way up there. It's very tall. It's very tall. Very tall. Adios. Adios, amigos. Bye, Jessica. Bye, bye. All right, everybody. This is where we're standing on the bus. We got our cool old light poles in here. We got a few supports, like the ones with the 2x4s, those are completely welded in. The support's welded in there. Uh, I'm just waiting to take the 2x4s off until I have the rest of them. I got three of them over here, I got three, three of them over here, and you can see my, uh, my bracing that I'm doing here by putting this piece of inch and a quarter pipe or tubing in where the seams are, <clears throat> and I got a few to do and then there's one two that go above the door there and then there's actually four over there on above that door so we got a lot to do but that's my goal today is to get all of this bracing in so that everything stands solid and then uh you know if it ever stops raining we can finish welding that back there so that's the plan for today but you're gonna have to tune into the next episode to catch all of that and more on this bus build Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.